Hey everyone, welcome back to another one of our videos. Thank you for doing the boxes that we've sent to you before. This one is in honor of both Valentine's Day and Black History Month. So in the box that you have with you, or if you don't have one and you're trying to make one, in this box, we're calling it the Banneker Valentine's Day Bingo Box. In this one, you're going to get... Uh, Felt? Yeah. Thank you. Felt. You'll get a circle, a cardboard circle. This one is actually the cape backing. So you can get those, uh, the cape box circles. You'll get a... Uh, golden pin thing. <laughs> a golden pin thing. It's really just uh, when we punch the hole, it's going to be used to hold um, the arms together. Mommy. You're going to get a stamp um another die you're definitely not getting the one my kids have bitten um you're getting another die and you will get our bingo card it won't be this big because it has actually has the hole in the box um and of course candy just for fun to keep them motivated uh, lollipop. a heart lollipop a any, heart lollipop any color they're only red yellow green and blue ones okay awesome are you ready to do the box with me mm -hmm. what are you doing babies putting this in the center you're finding the center? All right, so... Is, so is this the center? A good way to do it is probably to use our ruler. Then no, it'll no, no, actually... Hold on. This is the center. It's not. See? Look, mm -hmm. if we use the ruler... Move your finger, Bubba. If we use the ruler, or the length is about 20-something. So let's use 20. Mm -hmm. So if we find the 10, mm -hmm. that's half. Mm -hmm. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is hammer this in. No, <laughs> Wait, we just needed the hole. Now you have to cut the arms out. Okay. We need long and short hands. Yep. So, oh. would you like me to draw it for you? No, you want to do it yourself? Yeah! Have it. This is the short hand, then you just put a, put a head. So we do like a triangle on the top. So we'll cut out the triangle also, okay? So wow. now do the long hand. Why are we cutting out the triangle? Because we need the arrows to have the arrow head. That's what it's called. So do a long hand now. You gotta be so weird. I'm weird like my mommy. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. The before we put these on, though, we do have to go separate the clock and make them go home. How many numbers are on the clock? Twelve. Since there's, since it goes from one to twelve. Very good. All right. So here's your pencil. You yeah, have to do. Hold on. Yeah, it's fine. We can see it. We're going to use our ruler again. Good job. So, but we need it. We need 12 numbers. So, so right now we have 12 and what's usually down here six good and over here what do you think would be over here three awesome and what would be over here na, 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 high na, five na, na. all right so now we need to put two more lines in the middle nine, nine, nine. so i'll help you so we need to break each quarter into threes Now we have tons and tons of lines. Now we can put our arms on. I think we might need to make a little bit of a hole. So 
Um, the gold, the gold, the gold, the gold. I'm just gonna cut a tiny hole so that your thing about you can go through it, your pin. Got it. Beautiful. No. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> it <didn't go. laughs> Time to number time. Number time. We should probably not use a black marker. Let's use a different color so that it's cuter. Okay. Beautiful. Love it. Clock done. So step one. We made a clock. So the next thing that we have to do now is actually play the game. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. But mommy, mm -hmm. the, the arrows aren't moving properly. We will fix that along the way. So what we do we need to do? It says we need to roll the die, change the clock to match the time, then do the activity. Right? Okay. All right. So. So on the whole, you know, so you got it too. Roll it on the, on the table. One. One. So let's choose the first time that we have there. So we have a six o'clock. We have a six o'clock. So what hand goes on the six, the small or the big one? Small. Okay. Of course the and what hand goes? Uh, where does the big hand go? Twelve, of course. Because Very good. And we don't have to move it because it's already on the twelve. Yeah, but or. Oh, <laughs> it made it way through. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. 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 I think that solved our problem. See, now it works. It's and, and it doesn't work. It does. It was there. It did do. There we go. See? <laughs> there we go. Now it works. Okay, so 12 and 6. Then so make a stamp. Did you stamp the first one? No. Nope. And okay. what does it say we're supposed to do? Hearts. What was the activity in number one? Give a component, e.g., I like how you. So give a compliment, and e.g. means example. So I want, you have to give someone a compliment by saying something like, I like how you made your clock. Ah! That was a good job. I like how you do makeup. Ah! Aww. Ah! Thank you. Okay, let's try another one. It's your turn. It's my turn. Oh. <laughs> you got I got a six. No, no, no. You first rolled a two. I got a two first? Yes. Okay. All right, let's two. So the first time is eight fifteen. Whoa, let's see if we can do that one. No, no, no. There's no way you can do that. Why not? Because, um, so this is the hour. Not, hold on. We might have to put. Where's the hour yeah. hand? Hmm. Find the hour hand on your clock. Hmm. Here. Yes, the small one. So, the, so eight so, is the hour. So the fifteen is somewhere behind. The fifteen four is the three. Right. Fifteen is the minutes. So it would be five, ten, fifteen, and we'd put the minute hand. Ah you know what? Yes, yeah, so move the hour hand. Where does the hour hand go? Here. No, the hour hand goes to the eight. Oh because that's the hour. And then the minute hand, you can move the minute hand now. To the three. To the three. Good job. Beautiful. Love it. And then the activity. What does the activity say we're supposed to do? One, one fact about Benjamin Banneker. All right. So. That he made a clock. Yeah. <laughs> he made the first. What type of clock did he make? Big Ben? <laughs> no. <laughs> Remember, what did the clock do that he made? Do you remember? Chiming clock. Yeah, he made the first chiming clock in America. 
But Big Ben also chimes. Well, at the time, Benjamin Banneker was not the one who did Big Ben. But it did something like what Big Ben does. Mm. It chimes. All right, great. Your turn. All right, number four. Solve one math problem. So we found the time and then now the question is to solve one, one math, math problem. problem and we're doing math because Benjamin Banneker loved math, right? Mm. That was one of the things, that was one of the reasons he made the clock. Mommy, you, yeah, it's my turn. Ready? All right. Ah! <laughs> six. Six. I think you first rolled a four. No, I rolled a six. Oh, whatever. All right, what's the activity? Tell me one fun fact about space. Hmm. So, Benjamin Banneker was also an, what do we call him? Astronomer. An astronomer. Very good. And that's why we're talking about space, because he loves space. One fun fact about cow, uh, uh, space is that there's always white holes at the end of black holes. Where did you learn that one? Dr. Bynock. <laughs> yes. okay. Your turn. We need to get, if we get a five, we get, no, we need five and three to get bingo. Let's see what's going to come up. Five and three, five and three. <laughs> Four. <laughs> But then we get 11.30 again. Yay! Okay, all right. So, <laughs> but now you have to give, what does the activity say? Give someone a hug. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come. Well, we did a good job with this bingo game. We learned a lot about Benjamin Banneker. But the last thing that I want you to remember was the most important thing about Benjamin Banneker that I want you to remember. That he built clocks? That's not the most important thing, but that's definitely one of them. Is that he looks like... Me. Like you. Because he has white hair. I know, and you don't have white hair. But what color was his skin? And what color is your skin? Right. So that's...